In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Magic Zoom in Blogger. You can use this video to install Magic Zoom Plus, Magic Zoom, Magic Thumb, Magic Magnify Plus and Magic Magnify as the process is the same. For today's tutorial I'll be installing Magic Zoom. The example you can see is using the multiple images option. It's just one of many ways to customize Magic Zoom. We'll look at different customizing options later in the video. First, download the demo version of Magic Zoom and go to the folder it's downloaded to on your computer. The file you've just downloaded is a zip file, so you need to extract the files before you begin. Next, you need to upload two files to your website server. If you don't have access to a server, search the internet for free web space. There's lots of free hosting options available. OK, now look for a folder called Magic Zoom Trial. Open this until you come to the Magic Zoom folder. Within the Magic Zoom folder, you'll see two files, a CSS file and a JavaScript file. You need to upload both files to your server. I'm using FileZilla to do this. And you can see both files upload pretty quickly. Next we're going to reference the CSS and JavaScript files in the head code of your blogger template. To do this, select template and edit HTML. You'll be placing your head code just below the head tag. The code you need is on the Magic Zoom integration page. Choose number one, installation, and copy the head code as shown. Then paste it under the head tag in your template. The code you've just pasted includes the Magic Zoom folder reference, which you need to delete. I'll change the CSS file reference first. Instead of showing the Magic Zoom folder, type in the URL reference where the CSS file is located on your server. I'll just copy the location and paste it into my JavaScript reference. Because you've referenced the CSS and JavaScript files in the head section of your template, you can now add Magic Zoom to any post on your website. To get started, I'll create a new post. I'll just enter a name for my post and call it Magic Zoom Example. For Magic Zoom to work, you'll need two images. A large image, which will act as a zoom, and a small image, which will be shown on your web page. I've entered my large image reference in Notepad just to make things a bit easier, so I can copy it rather than type it out in full in a minute. So if we go back to the post, the first thing we need to do is insert the small image, and then link the small image to the large image. This is where having your large image reference already typed out comes in really handy. Enter the large image reference in the web address field like so, and then the last step we need to do is add a class of Magic Zoom in the HTML code. Always make sure interpret typed HTML is selected under the compose mode option when working in the HTML view. So you can see in the HTML code we have the large image reference shown as a link and the small image reference showing as the image source. Now all we need to do is add the Magic Zoom class. Make sure Magic Zoom is one word and that you use a capital M and a capital Z. Save your changes and then if you view your blog now you'll see Magic Zoom is working. The small image appears on the post as planned and the large image shows in the zoom area. Now that Magic Zoom is installed let's make some changes. I've highlighted the hint text which by default says zoom but you can have any text you want here so I'll show you how to change that. I'll also show you how to increase the area size of your zoom. Go back to your post and make sure you're in the HTML view. We're going to paste some new code directly into what we've already got. At the top of the integration page, you'll see an anchor link for size and an anchor link for hint. We'll use both of these to make a changes. First, click on number two, size. By default, the zoom size is 300 pixels. 
I'm going to change this to 400 pixels. So all I need to do is copy the row attribute as shown and paste it after the magic zoom class in my code. If you go back up to the top of the integration page and this time select number 9 hint. You can see the rel attribute hint text which is what we want. We've already got the rel in our code so just copy it from hint and finish with the exclamation mark. Once that's done go back to your post and paste a new hint code after zoom height 400 pixels and update your changes. And now when you preview your blog you can see the hint text has changed and the zoom area size is bigger. By default Magic Zoom gives an external zoom. It may be that you prefer to use an internal zoom instead. You can do this by selecting number 4 internal zoom on the integration page and this time copy the rel attribute zoom position inner and paste it over your existing zoom width zoom height code which you just entered to change the zoom size. Now when you preview your blog you'll see the internal zoom is working instead. This is great when you want to keep everything contained in your post rather than having a zoom area covering other parts of your page. All the HTML code you need to make changes is on the integration page. Use the anchor links at the top to help you navigate around the page easily. If you're not sure how you want to display your images, go to the Magic Zoom Examples page. Whether you want to use multiple images or reverse opacity, this page will give you some great ideas. At the top of each page on our website, there's a Contact Us link. So if you have any questions about Magic Zoom or any of our other tools, just get in touch. If we're not online when you send your message through, we'll get back to you the very next day. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching.